How's it going guys? Cody guys, back again, dropping another video. Right guys, uh, this is a story about a death in custody that uh, tragically took place in uh, March of this year. Uh, but I only actually made the paper yesterday. Um, so, uh, as you can see from the beginning of the video, the pictures of Luke Jones. God bless Luke Jones, may he rest in peace. Uh, sadly, it's another prisoner leaving prison in a body bag. Um, and... Spice is attributed to have led to a, a cardiac arrest. Um, so what I'll do, guys, as always, I will read the story word for word. And as always, I'll put a link in the description below. My thoughts and prayers go out to Luke Jones's family. God bless him. May he rest in peace. Um, and then, as always, guys, we'll, we'll read it out. Put a link in the description below. Um, and we'll go from there. Right, guys. So the, the headline reads... Prisoner becomes one of the youngest victims of spice epidemic gripping UK prisons. Luke Jones had a fatal heart attack after taking the zombie drug. A 22-year-old prisoner has become one of the youngest victims of a spice epidemic gripping Britain's jails. It's not gripping really, it's, it's got a hold of prisons and it, it's in a death-like grip, if you will. Um, vice-like grip it really is a problem within prisons uh, luke jones had a fatal heart attack after taking the zombie drug god bless luke jones may he rest in peace my thoughts and prayers are with your family tonight his dad dave said he'd never had spice before he went in within weeks he was an addict he went to prison to be rehabilitated and came out in a body bag luke was found in his room what, I just explained that, right? Obviously, prisons have cells. Now, it is a prison cell, but uh, HMP Berwyn in near Wrexham, they call cells a room. Officers are not allowed to call you by your name. Like, they call you by your first name and stuff like that. They've got to knock on your cell before they come in and stuff. Um, it's all part of this Mandela rules and stuff that they brought in. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, Luke was found in his room at H&P Berwyn in North Wales, which opened last year. He had served half of a four-year sentence for robbery and was due out a month after he died in March. So he died in March and was due to be released in April. Uh, again, God bless him, may rest in peace. A post-mortem revealed the provisional cause of death as a cardiac event, probably linked to the drug, a synthetic form of cannabis. Dave claimed his son was so addicted he got into debt with dealers they'd ring me demanding money he said he was attacked a few times and was suffering with mental problems by the end of his term he was on 24 hour watch the day he died they'd stop watching him for reasons i'll never know luke of blanu festinga which is somewhere in wales sorry if i pronounce that wrong died amid soaring levels of jail drug use and violence against prison officers. It's not just prison officers. It's prisoner to prisoner. And attacks on prison officers to prisoners. Uh, sorry. From prison officers. From prisoners to prison officers even. Um, unfortunately they don't count the amount of times. That prison officers give uh, cons a kick in. Um, yeah. Of drug use and violence against prison officers in England and Wales. A ministry of justice. A Ministry of Justice report last week showed <clears throat> drug seizures surged 23% to what 13,119 in 2017 to 2018. Attacks on guards were up 25% to 9,003. There were 46,859 self-harm incidents among inmates last year, up 16%. Separate Ministry of Justice statistics showed more than a fifth of random Mandatory drugs tests in jail were positive. Last month, we told how 212 million pound category C Berwyn jail near Wrexham is so dangerous. 28 officers quit in its first year. Inmates at the Nick have ensuite rooms rather than cells. Guards are asked to knock before entering. Shortly after Luke's death, a fellow inmate, Stephen Kidd, wrote to Inside Times magazine. Um, for those that don't know, it's a newspaper slash magazine that goes out in prisons and stuff, the Inside Times, claiming the pri and it claimed that the prison was in mayhem. Cleaner Day 43, obviously Luke's dad, added, I want to put it out there about Luke. Spice killed my son. It's an epidemic out of control. 
an inquest is to be held. A prison spokesman said we take every death extremely seriously and are committed to learning lessons from investigations. Now, from the prison person spokesman, it's just a generic thing that they throw out there. We take every death extremely seriously. We learn lessons. Well, obviously you don't. Obviously you don't. This is a man that, according to his dad, was on 24-hour OBS, so it could have been suicide watch. They could have been aware that he'd taken some sort of a drug, um, and they put OBS on him. Um, and 24 hours, OBS, if, for those that don't know if you're in prison and you're under OBS, especially 24-hour OBS like that, uh, they actually put a table and chair outside your cell door um, and an officer has a log and he has to keep up to date with the log about your movements, actions, behaviour, things like that. Um, like I say, I did a vlog um, before this prison opened, guys, right, last year. You can find it in my timeline, right, about HMP Berwyn. And it's supposed to be this new super prison and it's Mandela rules and all this stuff. And I simply said in the video, it'll have the same problems as every prison else, as every other prison. But it's supposed to use Mandela rules, calling your cell a room. That doesn't aid rehabilitation, calling your prison cell a room. Knocking on your prisoner's door before you enter. Not going to aid rehabilitation, is it? I think the idea was that he was going to give it like, because um, obviously a lot of people in prison... Um, prison only succeeds in disenfranchising you uh, even more than when you entered, uh, desensitise you, dehumanise you, demoralise you, right? That's all prison succeeds in really doing. Um, prison also starts mental health problems for a lot of prisoners. That's if they haven't already got them as well, because prisons are doubling up as mental health units. Why? Because it costs about £40,000 uh, a year to house somebody in prison, right? If, if you put that person in a psychiatric unit, let's say uh, high security like Rampton, Broadmoor or Ashworth Hospital, um, you're talking 350 to 400,000 pounds a year. So prisons are cheap alternatives to mental health units. It's as simple as that. Um, mental health services within prison are inadequate. Um, Luke's, Luke's father uh, stated that um, Dave stated that his son was suffering mental health problems. Like I say, people take drugs for many different reasons, right? Some people, it's boredom. Some people, it's a coping mechanism because prison affects everyone differently. We all do this macho thing. Prison's nothing, doesn't bother me. Fucking, like, yeah, we all do that macho thing, don't we? But prison affects everybody differently. The only people that prosper in prison, in my opinion, as a former prisoner, are those that have got nothing on the outside. But like I say, sustained periods of bang up. This is a cat sea prison, so they should have quite a lot of freedom. Um, it's just a, an expensive waste at £212 million. Pounds, and it's failing just like all the other prisons failing. It's not even f at full capacity yet. Uh, but like I say, drugs are taken to alleviate boredom. The people are spiked, peer pressured into it, um, bullied into it. Just a coping mechanism to escape the reality of the surroundings and stuff. Like I say, people have got mental health problems and stuff. They're, they're, they're very susceptible and very vulnerable within the prison system. Um, you've got drug dealers that will then, someone that's addicted, a new a new strain of the drug might come in. And then they'll, they'll, they'll pick a vulnerable inmate and say, right, I'm going to give you this spliff of spice. It's a new strain. It might be stronger than the others, whatever. I want you to smoke it. And what they do then, that person will smoke it on social social association when you're out of your cell you can play pool play on your playstation 2 if you if you've got one if you've earned an incentive zone privileges to buy one uh you can play cards table tennis whatever you're doing different prisons different things man um and they'll tell you to smoke it on social and then they they gauge how strong the strain is by how it affects the person obviously people that smoke fat spice fall into catatonic states and stuff. It's an horrific thing to see. I've been involved in the drug world, right? I used to sell drugs, class A drugs, and I say that to my shame. Um, but spice is a horrible drug. Seeing people under the influence of stuff is not an, it, it, it knocks me sick, to be honest. And like I say, a lot of these people are vulnerable prisoners and stuff, and they're tested as guinea pigs with this. Obviously, some people take it, obviously a lot of people take it because they become addicted to it, but that addiction has to start somewhere, doesn't it? And it, the, you feed them to it and they get on it, and like within a few spliffs, right, bam. They're addicted and they're hooked and stuff. You see a change in the person. They'll steal from their own mother just to get the drug. Um, they'll steal from the cellmate. They'll steal from other prisoners. 
Um, and it's not them doing it, it's the drug telling them to do it and stuff. And it's a sad state of affairs to see, but it does go on. Um, and Spice keeps attribu being attributed to quite a few deaths. I think over 85 deaths have been attributed to Spice since 2013. Um, it, it is, it's gripping prisons and it's horrible. It's got like a death-like grip on prisons. And it is the drug of choice for most prisoners. Obviously, not everybody takes Spice because of they're aware of it and stuff and they're like no i wouldn't touch it but other prisoners like i say they're susceptible they're vulnerable um like i say you can get spiked you can be peer pressured into it you can be bullied into it um you can take it off your own back it could be a coping mechanism it could be a to alleviate boredom but when it gets you it gets you and it gets you bad and like I say, the fact is, unfortunately, Spice is as much part of prison life as the understaffing, the bars, the harsh regimes, depending on what prison you're in, what regime you're in, um, the corruption within the screws, beatings, punishment beatings from prisoner to prisoner, you're getting kickings from screws, prisoners attacking prison officers, um, body bags are as much part of prison life as the Spice, the understaffing, and everything else that goes on. It's a sad state of affairs, but it's a very real um set of set of events and stuff now anyone that loses somebody in prison anyone that's son or daughter because we've obviously got female prisoners that that die in prison under any circumstance go straight to the media make sure your loved one's death is not in vain because given half a chance the ministry of justice would uh sweep it under the rug and it's no one should die in prison um without their death being announced and stuff and like that because it puts pressure on the ministry of justice to change things so that reform comes to prison rehabilitated like he said he, um luke's dad god bless luke again may he rest in peace his dad said there um he went to prison to be rehabilitated and came out in a body bag now just just process that information um to be prison rehabilitation is a made-up word so people like david Gore, the justice secretary um, Rory Stewart, the prison and probation minister, can wear suits, feel important, and, and get around way, making stupid amounts of wages, 100,000, 200,000, whatever it is, a year. Right? People are dying on their clock. They're talking about building more prisons. More prisons, more prisoners, more problems, more death, misery, despair, suicide attempts, suicides, debt. Where you've got debt in prison, guys, obviously contraband, you're talking drugs. You've got formerly like legal highs, now known as new psychoactive substances like your spice. Um, tobacco, the, the, the Prison Officers Association lobbied for the smoking ban to come in, right? knowing they'd seen an increase in violence. They'd then use that increase in violence to arm themselves with the, the parva spray, which is currently being piloted in four prisons. Uh, batons, they want tasers, they want tactical use of tasers. The threat and banned industrial action if they don't get X, Y, and Z. Um, and it, prisoners, unfortunately, shit rolls downhill. And unfortunately for prisoners, we are at the bottom of that hill. Prisoners' families then suffer immeasurably as well because it's their loved one. When the prisoners up there, up when the prisoners down there, down, it, it sends shockwaves and ripple effect through the family. Um, prison system's not fit for purpose, in my opinion. It really, really isn't. Um, and like I say, these deaths are going to continue to happen. And um, it's just the way it goes, guys. And like I say, my heart goes out to anybody that loses someone through prison and stuff. There's not, there's more, there's, let me get my words out. There's not a more depressing place in life than to leave prison in a body bag. It's the most depressing place on earth. Like I say, prisons, people are treading water. Some people swim better than others because they make the best of a bad situation. Prison affects everybody. Prison affected me, I'm not gonna lie to you, right? I can handle prison standing on my head, but if, if, if I was to say that prison didn't get me down at times, I'd be fucking lying to you. I didn't turn to drugs. Uh, I had I had a couple I, had, I hit the hooch a couple of times prison alcohol I've even brewed some on my channel as you guys might have seen doing the taste test um, but like I say guys everyone's treading water and stuff some people will pick you up when you're down others will try to push you under to make themselves stay afloat um, prison is full of death, misery, despair frustration, anger, mental health bullying where you've got obviously contraband drugs, mobile phones um, new psychoactive substances you've got debt where you've got debt you've got bullying intimidation fear and violence and it's as simple as that my thought goes out to luke jones's uh like say family and stuff like that god bless him may rest in peace i'll put a link in the description below guys so you can browse it on leisure should you choose to i'm gonna leave this video here guys like comment subscribe call the out